Hello and welcome. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a watercolor effect in Adobe Illustrator. So first off you're going to create an ellipse like that and you want to remove the stroke and you want to change the color. And if you already know what color you want for your artwork you can select that one. I'm just going to select a nice teal color. Uh, you can obviously change the color afterwards, so it's not that important. And then you want to go into your width tool and select the warp tool. And then you just want to warp your ellipse to some kind of uh, brush stroke shape, I guess. Maybe something like that. And when you're happy with the result, you want to have this selected and then go to your mesh tool and just set a point somewhere in the middle. And then you want to select all of the points and deselect the middle point. And now you want to change the opacity into something low. Uh, I think that around 10% is probably good. And then with, uh, uh, with this selected, you want to go into your width tool again and then select the wrinkle tool. And in here it's important that you have both horizontal and vertical enabled. So I'm just going to type in 50 on both of them. And then just uh, click and hold on this one, um, but not too much, uh, so let's just see how this looks. Yeah, this is probably fine, I think. Yeah, like that. And then you want to add a stroke to this, uh, so you can click this icon, add new stroke. And I think, yeah, I think this is good. And then you want to change the color of the stroke. So what I usually do is just select something that's pretty close and then just change it in here. So what you want is the pretty much the same color but a little bit darker. So maybe something like that should be fine. Press OK. And under the strokes menu you want to change the profile into... I usually use this one. I think that, that works fine. And then you want to change the opacity of the stroke to around like 30 or 40 percent. It's just 40 for this one. Like that. And uh, now you want to select the whole shape and then go to object and expand appearance. And then go to object and expand again. And now with this selected you want to go to the transparency tab and change the blending mode to hard light and opacity to around for 20, between 20 and 30 percent I find, find works pretty good. And then with this selected you want to go into your symbols menu and then uh, create a new symbol and then press OK. And now you, this should pop up and you can go into your sprayer tool and uh, with the symbol selected you can use it to spray it. What I like to do is just uh, create a couple in the beginning and then by clicking and holding, selecting the sizer tool and just making a couple of large ones like this. And uh, then what you can do is just use your spinner tool to rotate them a little bit, like that. Oh, that's maybe too much. Yeah, this is probably fine. And uh, there's a couple of tools in here, so I'm just gonna go through them from top to bottom. So, the first is the shifter tool. You can use this to just move around the uh, different symbols in the, that you have sprayed, like this. And the next one is the scruncher tool, which just drags the symbols towards your pointer. And then you have your sizer tool that I have shown you, and the spinner tool that I also show. And then the stainer tool you can use to change the color of your symbols. So uh, let's just select some darker color, and press OK. You can just drag, and the longer you hold, the more it goes towards that color, as you can see here. And uh, what you can do also is hold the Alt key, and this should change the 
color like the colorization so if you just change this to blue hold the alt key and then just click it goes back but slowly like that and uh, then you also have your screener tool which uh, changes the opacity of the chosen uh, symbols and by hold holding the, the alt key and just clicking and holding the longer you hold the more opacity the chosen symbol get. gets like this so what I like to do is uh, after I have created like all these big symbols I usually want to create uh, another symbol sprayer and just spray a couple more without having the last one selected a new symbol sprayer and then just spray a couple more smaller ones and in the sizer to if you just click and hold, they get bigger. But if you hold your, oops, if you hold your Alt key, they get smaller. So what I usually do is just make a couple of smaller ones on top, and uh, then it's uh, pretty much the same thing as before. So when you're happy with your result, there's a couple of more things you can do to make it even better. So what you can do is just select your symbol set and then go to object and expand it and press OK and then go to object and expand it again. Uh, so now all your symbols have become like objects again. So what you can do now is go back into your warp tool and then just uh, drag around a little bit, not too much. Uh, so this gives it a little bit more random feeling. Then you can also use your uh, wrinkle tool again, just uh, on a couple of points, like this. And what that does, it is just gives it a little bit more randomness to it. So it looks a little bit more realistic. Another thing you can do is uh, there's a couple of other symbols uh, that are provided by Illustrator that you can use to just give it some... Uh, you, you, have, you have this one, the Victor Grime symbol, and in the library menu there's a couple more in the Grime and Vector pack. There's a couple of more splatters and also in the artistic textures, there's a few like I like to use the stipple one, and also there's a couple of splatter ones. And uh, there's the charcoal, is also quite nice, and fibers can work sometimes. So let's just add a, a few of those. So let's start with the stipple ones. And then what you can do when you have added this, you can change the transparency mode to multiply, which uh, gives it a little bit more better effect. And then decrease the opacity too, so you can't see it that much, but uh, all the little spots are there. And then let's just do the same thing for uh, some of one of the splatters. So let's just pick this one. And as you can see, this gives a little bit more uh, life to the watercolor. So yeah, that's pretty much it.